Hi everyone, it's Megan here from Boys and Girls Club. I am excited to start this virtual programming with you and just want to let you guys know you guys can always come back and tune in and uh, right now we're going to be talking about hygiene. So hygiene is important because you are, this is a responsibility for yourself. It's how you can take care of yourself, especially now that we've been out of school for about two weeks. And you probably won't be talking with your teachers until another week. We want to make sure that we're checking in on each other and uh, making sure that we're uh, living up to being the best that we can be even when we're at home. So it's important because uh, when you think about that, all the smells of people living together, you know, uh, you try to get outside, but most likely you're not in and about your normal routine. So you want to be important because what's that smell? It might be you. So one of these things, we just want to make sure that we are um, taking care of our own personal hygiene first and just kind of checking in with ourselves. So hygiene is important uh, because it's always important, no matter if you're at home, if you're going someplace, it really is about a uh, fancy way to describe yourself and how you take care of yourself. It's important. So good hygiene includes your appearance. So you always want to make sure that you look your best or you feel your best. And feeling your best is part of what personal hygiene is. You want to make sure your body odor. Remember previously that stinky skunk. We don't want to be that stinky skunk everywhere. Uh, your health and your health is your self-esteem. Uh, this little video down here, um, healthy body, healthy mind equals happy life. So um, we just want to choose our good health. How does personal hygiene relate to my self-esteem? You can think, oh, well, that's just something I feel about myself, right? Well, it's all about what you see of yourself as well. Um, it refers to a person's beliefs about your own worth and self-value. Uh, self-esteem influences your choices, whether um, you're going to be making positive choices, if you're motivated for something. Uh, and that's why keeping yourself clean is important. Uh, because when you feel clean and you are clean, it helps you feel good about yourself. Um, and you can do other things too. Um, you don't always need to wear the latest name brand clothing or anything like that. Uh, everyone can still have good hygiene. So, um, talking about in your personal lives, professional, social, you might not have a professional life yet um, because you guys are still in school, uh, but definitely your social and your personal life um, can be affected by hygiene. You want to make sure that you're starting good habits because those will happen in later in life too. It has a lot to do with your first impression of others. Imagine you're going into an interview or you started the very first day of school again. Um, you're hair is unwashed, you have dirty clothes on, you can smell you from a mile away. Um, that interview panel might not take you seriously, or you might not make a lot of friends because they might be going away from you. You want to make sure that um, if you look at this picture here, imagine that you're that person sitting um, next to him. What would your first impression of them be? That they're very stressed out? That they don't take care of themselves? Are you going to want to be sitting next to them? Probably not. Uh, so just make sure that you're taking care of yourself um, because you do interact with people other times. Um, this is a video that we can watch later. So what makes us stink? So you don't just wake up in the morning and stink, right? Um, all about bacteria. Bacteria grows on our bodies. Uh, clothes shoes, bacteria is everywhere. Uh, the stuff that grows on us, uh, it turns to dead skin cells. We lose about 30,000 to 40,000 skin cells every hour. And over a one day span, we lose almost 1 million skin cells. Uh, this is from uh, oil on our hair, um, just your dry skin uh, on your teeth and everything. Uh, you want to make sure that it makes us Try not to be stinky. Remember, we don't want to skunk into our house. Um, it also is bacteria breeding grounds. If you're not changing your uh, clothes or anything, they like damp places. Um, and think about your teeth are damp, um, your feet are damp, your armpits. Um, fun fact, 
Sweat itself is pretty odorless, but it's the rapid growth of, the, of bacteria and sweat together that creates the stinky smell. And then it's kind of hard for it to go away. One of the things that you guys can do um, since you are home is, oh, let's go back for a second. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. Uh, is keeping your clothes clean. So when I was a teenager and sometimes now, I would just take off my clothes and put them, throw them in a pile on my floor. That would get mixed with the dirty clothes and the clean clothes. Like I said, it's another breeding ground for all those bad bacteria. So maybe you are changing, changing your clothes every day, but they're mixing in with the uh, clothes that are not washed, um, that are getting dirty. So just creates more breeding grounds for bacteria. You wanna make sure you're putting them in a bucket or a hamper or just taking them right to the laundry and start um, washing them yourself, so. Also, um, bacteria grows on your underarm as well as your face. Remember, we lose over 1 million uh, skin cells in a one day. Um, body odor caused by bacteria is a pokering gland. Uh, these glands become most active when onset of puberty, as we discussed before, and your sweat glands. So where do you sweat? Where are they? Your feet, your groin, your genitals, your belly buttons, armpits, behind the ears, hair. Um, you want to make sure that you are washing these places uh, when you are showering with soap because just water doesn't really uh, get that bacteria that we have off. Bacteria loves moisture as we said before. So watering it down just increases that moisture. We want to make sure we are killing it with the soap as well. All right. What do we have here? Okay. Okay, oral hygiene. Um, just a little bit of warning before I go on this. Uh, there are going to be a little bit of pictures of bad teeth. So if you don't want to see it, please log off now. All right. Thank you for staying. So this is a little bit about tooth decay. So oral hygiene is important because it is one of the factors um, about your health, right? Uh, your physical health and your mental health is all about you eat and how do you eat it through your mouth. Um, having poor oral hygiene can lead to um, gum disease, increased risk of other health conditions such as heart disease, diabetes, and more. Um, that's why you should floss every day. You want to make sure you're getting in between your teeth and brushing your teeth with toothpaste to uh, prevent cavities and tooth decay. Um, studies show that plaque will regrow on teeth that are completely clean within three to four hours of brushing. So think about how many of, think about how many hours are in a day, 24, right? Divided by three to four. That's how much your um, bacteria goes, so think about it. All right, so we've kind of talked about all the gross, the good, the bad, the ugly, but we haven't talked about the good. Um, so are some germs good? Yes. Do you like bread? Do you like yogurt, cheese, uh, kimchi? That is all good for forms of bacteria. Um, they help uh, create things. Have you ever seen yeast? You know, that's a bacteria that just kind of grows and grows. Um, and they're also found in our bodies. Um, we have 100 trillion good bacteria, uh, a lot in our stomach as well to kind of make sure that we um, fight off the bad bacteria, absorb the nutrients, make sure we're digesting very good um, for it. So bacteria kind of uh, acts, helps uh, put that scientific process into motion um, within our bodies to make sure our nutrients are absorbed and we are um, getting the right vitamins. Uh, scientists use bacteria in labs for medicines and vaccines as well. Um, however, bacteria can also be bad in our bodies too. Uh, if they you have sore throats, tonsillitis, air infections, pneumonia, um, bacteria can be bad as, as well. So remember that stinky skunk that we talked about? Uh, we just kind of want to wrap it up with 10 things uh, that are bad for personal hygiene. So you might be a stinker if you don't do these 10 things. So remember, top 10. One, shower at least once a day and always after exercise. Um, so kind of whenever you sweat, 
make sure you shower uh, with soap, getting behind your ears, every place that you sweat, making sure that you're kind of getting that bacteria away. As I said, don't forget the soap. Rinsing off in the shower is not enough. Um, dead skin cells in your hair and skin, you need to make sure you're rubbing or scrubbing it off. Um, using body wash, shampoo, conditioner, soap, anything that extra um, to kill that moisture. Wash your hands before meals, after going to the restroom. Uh, we also, in kind of the state of the world right now, you want to wash your hands as much as possible with soap uh, for a good 20 to 30 seconds. And you can do a simple Google search for songs to sing to make sure that you get your 20 seconds in. Um, you want to make sure you get them in the crevices and your fingernails too. Wash your clothes regularly. So I don't know about you, but sometimes I like to wear my pajamas all day. Um, make sure that you're not re-wearing them all the time. They do get sweaty even if you're just hanging out in them. Remember that 24 hours, 1 million skin cells. Um, there. And you don't want to have skin infections either. Number five, use deodorant at least once a day. Um, deodorants, you can read that, are more difficult for bacteria to grow. There are the two things in deodorant. There are either antiperspirant and anti-odor as well. So you want to make sure, um, do the stinky, but then also um, making sure that bacteria doesn't grow by sweating as well. Um, kind of think about if you need to keep an extra deodorant in your locker or maybe one in the, your bedroom and then uh, one uh, in your backpack or something, just kind of making sure that you're always having that. If you don't have access to deodorant, ask uh, student services, or we always have some extra at the club too. So just ask me. Number six, dry your feet and wear socks with shoes. Uh, don't rewear your socks. Uh, there are foot deodorants, but just wash your socks and wear socks. Um, I know everybody's feet stinks, and sometimes you might not have a lo enough laundry to do your socks in. Just throw them in with the towels or um, hand wash them because that really is important. Just how oral hy hygiene is important for your body, um, so is your feet as well, especially boys. Public service announcement. Um, change your undergarments daily. <laughs> that goes for everyone. Uh, and then use face, wa face wash. You want to get the dirt out of your pores. Uh, this reduces breakouts. As I said before, you guys in middle school and high school are going through puberty. Your face is going to change all the time. Um, just kind of wash it, get the dirt out as much as possible. So that way, if you do have breakouts, um, you can clean up all that stuff right away and give it air to breathe so your skin gets back to how you want it. Brush your teeth and floss before bed and every morning. We already discussed this. Um, remember, if you are in need of a toothbrush and toothpaste and kind of these basic um, things we'll discuss in the next slide, um, talk to your student services or come on down to the club and we can uh, make sure that you guys are um, have some of these basic things too. Then cover your coughs and wash your hands. I can't stress this enough, especially with what is going on in the world right now. Um, cover, cover, cover your coughs. Wash your hands afterwards. Wash your hands after you blow your nose. Um, there ever really is a time where you shouldn't be washing your hands with soap for 20 seconds. So some of those uh, basic hygiene starter packs, as we said before. So you want to make sure deodorant. Um, there's men's, women's, boys, girls. It really doesn't matter what you have. Um, sometimes there's the aerosol ones too instead of the roll-ons. Whatever you do, just get just get some deodorant. Um, your the soap for the shower, um, toothpaste, floss, toothbrush, um, body wash, shaver. You know um, all your basic needs. Once again, if you need these, um, just let me know and we'll try and make it happen for you. And lastly, um, I just want to give you some more um, things about uh, references. If you guys need anything, um, remember hygiene is really all about you. You want to make sure not only that you're stinky, but you can have um, at least to your overall health physically and uh, emotionally with your mental health. If you feel good about yourself, remember you feel good, self-esteem, um, all that fun stuff. And uh, we always want to make sure that we are giving you your best too. So um, if you have any questions, 
feel free to contact me and we'll be learning more about hygiene on Mondays um, with me. So feel free to check in and I will do the same. All right. Thanks.